Hello, welcome back to my channel Sini's Primary Math. In teaching geometry, various activities can be carried out to enhance the geometrical imagination of children. In this video, we are going to familiarize with some activities using Tangram that can be used for developing spatial visualization and logical thinking skills. What is a tangram? Tangram is an interesting puzzle which consists of a square cut into seven pieces. The objective is to make a specified shape using seven pieces. What are the seven pieces in a tangram? Each tangram puzzle contains the following five triangles, a square and a parallelogram. The five triangle includes two large right triangles, one medium sized right triangle, two small right triangles. Making a tangram. You can make a set of tangram pieces from a square card paper. You can use colored papers as well. Take a square card paper. Follow the steps as shown. Fold along the diagonals. Fold a corner to the center. Cut along the creases. Make three more folds. Open out and cut along the creases to make four pieces. For convenience of handling, you can paste these pieces on a cardboard and cut them in size. Nowadays, ready-made tangram set is available in the market. Rules for using tangram. All seven parts of tangram must be used when creating any shape. No parts of tangram can overlap. All parts must lay flat and all must touch. All parts can be rotated if needed. How to play with tangram? There are many ways to play with tangrams. The simplest way is to let children create their own various shapes using the seven pieces. Arranged correctly, these tangram shapes can be fitted together as a large square, rectangle or triangle. They can also be arranged in a variety of complex shapes. Tangrams can teach children about spatial relationships and help also develop problem solving abilities. They provide opportunities for exploration of ideas and creativity. Tangrams is used to make different objects, people and animals. You can use tangram pieces and ask children what they know about the shape. Allow children to sort tangram pieces by shape and by number of sides. Now let us begin the puzzle. Teachers and parents can select the appropriate level of activities for children at different grades. Young ones can start with a few pieces or by laying tangram pieces on an outline or stencil. For example, a square with two tangram pieces or a triangle with two tangram pieces. They will definitely enjoy doing this activity. Watch! My three years old granddaughter is solving a tangram puzzle. An outline is given and she is trying to make a house using the seven tangram pieces. You can make many objects using these seven pieces 
such as animals, persons, etc. Look at some interesting examples shown here. Once children become confident, challenge them to make more new shapes. Hope you are now familiar with Tangram and its use to make learning interesting to children. I know you are interested to explore more about Tangram. I will be back with another video on this topic. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families. Those who are watching my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get my future videos. Till then, bye!